Hey guys. So uh, we're gonna do our training um, class here on uh, how to bread our chicken at Chick-fil-A. So we're gonna start with our nuggets, okay? We're gonna do nuggets, and then we're gonna do fillets, and then we're gonna do our spicy fillets, and we're gonna do strips, okay? So what we're gonna do is right now they need six cups of nuggets. So I'm gonna go measure that out real quick. So I got four right there. We're gonna go and put them in this little container. Move right there. Now two more cups of that. Right there. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go put it in our milk wash here. So you're gonna make sure it sits in the milk wash for a few seconds. Let it come out right there. Go. Put them in our coater here. This is our put in the flour. Okay. So now when we get it, get them in here. We're gonna take this thing right here. We're gonna go and push that over there. We're gonna make sure all our nuggets are in there. This is going to make it much easier to to bread. Actually, we need to put the breading on first. So let's do that. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna roll it, and you're just gonna to toss them around in the coater here. There you go. You push it all to the end. And don't worry about, we're just gonna put them all in there, make sure you get all the nuggets in there. So you make sure we, we uh, toss them around real good so we get it all around the nugget there. Make sure you don't try to forget any of them. Okay, so once you get it in here, you're just gonna shake it out real quick. So this should look like that, you get a little a good coat on them for you. Okay, then we're gonna we're gonna transfer them over here to our fryer. What you're gonna do is gonna empty them in there for you. This one up here. Okay, so make sure what we're gonna do we're gonna make sure we take our yellow gloves off because our yellow gloves are only for raw chicken, so we don't want to touch our uh, anything like this with with raw stuff. So we're gonna put that in there. And so what you want to do to make sure that it doesn't stick. You want to stir it around a little bit, okay? Stir it around. You want to close it. Make sure you close this thing right here all the way. Okay, and the nuggets is going to be number two. And they should be ready in three minutes, okay? So now we're going to do a few fillets. We'll get more. Actually, we're going to do spicy. We're actually going to do spicy fillets next because they need some. Put some more gloves on. Always feel free to change your gloves as much as needed. You don't want any cross contamination or anything like that. I'm breading. How many y'all want? How many spicy? Uh, do six. How many? Six. Six. Okay, so if you come over here. Our spicy and our regular are completely separate. So we're gonna slide, go ahead and slide this over here. Okay. Now when doing our fillets, they've already, they've already been, been uh, all the fat's been taken off of it and everything. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold it right here and you're gonna put it in the milk wash to the fingertips one time, just like that. Okay. You're gonna throw it in there. What you're gonna do? You're gonna flip it. Okay. And what you wanna do? You're gonna take the palm of your hand and you're gonna stretch it out. Okay. Flip and stretch. Okay. The reason that we're going to do this is when we put them in the fryer and they start to cook, it's going to it's going to shrink up, so it's it's a good size on our uh, on our uh, on our bread. Okay. Put them in there. Okay, 
Okay. Make sure to take a palm or hand and just, just spread it out a little bit. Good size play like that, okay? Okay, okay. Yeah. And when we do our regular fillets in a minute, it's going to be the uh, exact same thing, except we're going to go back over to our um, regular coder we're going to do the same thing over there and this coder right here is basically what makes it spicy we already have spicy stuff on it but we also have our spicy coder that goes on it and as you can see I'm not I'm not just pounding it I, I want to put pressure on it I just want to press it down, spread the chicken out a little bit. I want to have it a good size so, so when it comes out of the fryer, it's not going to be too small when it shrinks up, okay? So what we're going to do, bring it right over here. Slice it a bit So these are going to be our, um, our spicy play racks, okay? The spice is going to take, um, we have two different fries for those, so we got our spicy one so we don't, we're not going to cross the oil or anything, we got our spicy on regular, okay, so we make sure you drop it the spicy one, okay, so put them up here, and since we only have about six fillets, we'll just do about two on each right here. does not have to be um, closed. So we'll just go down here and find our blades right there. And then that one right there will take about four and a half minutes to cook. Okay, we'll bring that right over here. Now, we'll go ahead and do our um, regular fillets. How many of those do you need? How many regulars do we need? Uh, maybe like 12. 12 regulars? And six. 16. 16? So we're over here we're going back to our regular chicken right here. And so we have more milk wash here. We're going to do the same exact thing. Okay, we're just going to dip it with your fingertips and throw it in there. important to do this to make sure that we get it get it uh, spread out good and spread out just like that we really want to make sure these are spread out good so when they cook they're gonna go right back and shrink a little bit It's got enough coder in here so you can make sure it's there and gets it get all over in there. When 
we put these cooked fillets on the bread, what we got to make sure is they got to be big enough to cover at least three corners of the um, of the bun. So that's why we need to make sure it's spread out good. obviously don't sell as much of the uh, strips as we do our nuggets. So what we're going to do, we're just going to take about a handful or so of strips. We're not going to count or anything. Okay. Put it back down here in our cooler. press the strips we're not gonna we're not gonna do anything like that we're just gonna get them and throw them in our little pan make sure the cutter is good and on on all parts of the um, strip there What you don't want to do, you don't want to, you don't want to let it clump up or anything. You want it just to be a good, good solid um, coat on the on the chicken, not too much, and you don't want any, you don't want too less where you're going to see any of the raw chicken. Notice, but before you put them in there, you want to just, just want to shake it off a little bit to get any excess stuff off of, off of it. So we're just gonna put it like that. You should be able to fit a good a good bit on there. We're gonna leave a little bit of space so they have room to cook. Push three. 
The strips are going to take um, about three minutes here. I'll leave that there. And real, real quick, before we end the video, I want to show y'all, make sure y'all know um, under here. So I didn't get to do our grill, but our, we don't fillet our grill, obviously. But our grill is going to be under the, the right fall cabinet. And the, um, the spice is going to be on the right side. And then on our, in our middle right here is going to be our um, our nuggets and our strips on the, on the middle one. And the strips are going to be in a green container. I guess you saw the bag. Strips are green and the regular nuggets are going to be pink. Okay, and then our regular fillets are right here in, in, the, in the far left cabinet.